The primary elections are now in the books with attention now being turned to what should be a hotly contested midterm and gubernatorial election right here in Michigan. But officials are sounding the alarm on growing threats against election workers. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee yesterday on threats being made to election workers. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega joins us now with what Michigan's top election official had to say on Capitol Hill. Veronica, good morning. Jay, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson testified in front of a Senate committee yet Wednesday saying election workers have received violent threats aimed at them and their families. And this is happening across the country so much that last year the Department of Justice launched a task force to address these increasing threats. In that time, the task force has reviewed over 1,000 reports of threats and found more than 100 to be worth investigation. Benson described an incident in December of 2020 on a night where she was at home with her family, putting her son to bed when dozens of people came to her house, stood outside shouting obscenities and graphic threats. She says that wasn't the only time groups of people showed up at her home or office and the memories still haunt her. There is an omnipresent feeling of anxiety and dread that permeates our daily lives and those of our families. Not long ago, my son standing in our driveway picked up a stick, turned to me and said, don't worry, mom, if the bad guys come again, I'll get them with this. He's six years old. Benson also added that one in three election officials report feeling unsafe on a regular basis. The DOJ task force says that election officials in states with close elections are more likely to receive these types of threats. Jay, there's also a bipartisan bill in the Senate right now that would double federal penalties for those who threaten election workers, poll watchers, voters or candidates of up to two years in prison. All right, Veronica, thank you. And Benson herself is up for re-election this November. She'll face off against Republican challenger Christina Caramo.